In many ways, the, the heart of the book is in the subtitle, um, Reading the Hebrew Bible as Christian Scripture, um, because I want to take seriously two things. On the one hand, Israel's scriptures were written in Hebrew long before ever there was a Christian faith. Um, they are, all the texts are pre-Christian documents, um, and that needs to be taken seriously. But, on the other hand, they are received and read by Christians as scripture. Um, and the question then is, how does one do justice to material written before ever there was a Christian faith, but which is to be read and received Christianly? Some people simply say, well, it's historical background. It tells us how we got to Christian faith, um, which is true, but that feels inadequate as an answer. Um, some have said, well, it, it looks forward, it anticipates, predicts even, but again, even if there are elements of that, um, that doesn't really account for a serious way in which the Old Testament might still matter to Christian thought and, and life now in a, in a Christian context. So what, one of the things I, I try to do in reading the Hebrew Bible as Christian scripture is to adopt an angle of vision which isn't that which scholars normally adopt. Normally when scholars look at particular texts in the Old Testament, the Old Testament is viewed, is read, with a view to looking backwards to the world, as it were, behind the Old Testament, the world of ancient Israel that gave rise to it. Um, but when, as such, there wasn't yet an Old Testament, so one reads the, the, the constituent texts of the Old Testament in relation to their context of origin before ever there was an Old Testament. So the angle of vision is, is starting with the text but looking backwards, as it were. Um, and what I'm trying to do is to start with the biblical text and to look forwards, as it were, to the two faiths, Jewish and especially Christian, um, which have arisen out of the continuing reception of Israel scriptures, um, and supremely for the Christian through, through Jesus um, and his, his life, death and resurrection. And that means, although I'm still, I still keep an eye on um, the ancient history and the world behind the text, I'm more interested in taking the Hebrew scriptures as a given collection, which is what scholars don't usually do, and asking how then do they, can they, have they informed um, those faiths that still understand themselves, so both Jews and Christians, in relation to this material as speaking truthfully of God and of the, the nature of human life.